Hey, what's going on guys? Just wanted to give you a quick demo of my Raspberry Pi running Alexa here. Got it mounted on the screen. Ran an Ethernet cable right up to my router. Then got these two power cords coming down here. Have to figure out a better solution for those. But basically what it does is it just, when you touch a button, you can speak to Alexa voice services just like the Amazon Echo. And right here I've just got an HTML5 page loaded, running JavaScript so it keeps the time here. And what I'm hoping to accomplish is when I give my Raspberry Pi some voice command, I get some relevant feedback here. Kind of like the Alexa app on the iPhone or the Android device. When you tell her something, she gives you some extra feedback here. Well, what I want to be able to do is have a remote control with an IR sensor that flips this switch. So when I press the button on the remote control, I can talk to Alexa or do various other things. And then when I say something anywhere in my house, I'll get feedback on this screen and eventually, hopefully, any screen that I port into it. All right, let's uh, give it a shot. Good morning, Alexa. Good morning. Today is after Will Ferrell's birthday. Add a little more cowbell to your day in his honor. Alright, as you guys can see this monitor here, this is actually a composite, just a small little TV I picked up at Goodwill, and what was interesting is I found that inside it, about half of the shell was empty, so over here we have the circuit board controlling the TV actually and taking all the input, and then over here we had nothing. And this circuit board is about four times as big as a Raspberry Pi, so we got about four times that space over here. So what I did is behind the circuit board about is the Raspberry Pi sitting right about here. And then I got some wires running the composite video right out the side back into the original inputs just in case I ever want to use those for anything else. On the left side, I've got a microphone I installed right up here so I can still hear through this sound panel. And then down here are the original factory TV speakers. So I get this volume control. I've got channel up and channel down if I was running coax. And then I've also got, you know, a basic menu for a TV, which is, I think, great because I could technically plug, you know, a closed circuit TV into the side of this, use the Raspberry Pi to flip this input switch. And then I've got my closed circuit TV not running through the Pi, just next to the Pi, basically. Um, yeah, I'll try and break this thing open for you guys, give you guys a better insight of what's inside of it. It was actually, it took me about an hour to do. I've had this TV sitting around for a while, I just never thought to look inside of it and it just was literally an empty shell with a screen. Yeah, so that's it. Good night.